point of this video is to take a complicated topic and melt it down to its purest form. I make this in hopes that someone who has never heard of this game can understand and have a newfound appreciation for it. This is why I love Rocket League. When I first set out to make this video, my approach was analytical, talking about laws of game design and how they are core pillars of entire genres. And that is all true, but I want to remain in simplicity because I believe that that is where Rocket League truly shines. Many games I've played tout expansive rosters with robust abilities and items that you could take a college course on and still not know every interaction. And that's great. I enjoy those games as well. But Rocket League has taken a different approach. The game truly breaks down to a few things, starting with maneuvering your car. Forwards, reverse, left, right. There's a handbrake, which in Rocket League physics just means your tires get slippery. You can jump, double jump, roll, and flip in a direction if you so choose. We also can't forget about the rocket part. At any time, you can boost to accelerate in the direction your car is pointing. That's important, but a little more on that later. The only other variable is the ball. Big picture, the game is a simplified version of soccer. No penalties, no timeouts, no corner kicks, just have more points than your opponent by the end of the game to win. It's really that simple. Or is it? We have now reached the montage portion of the video. Please keep your hands inside the vehicle at all times. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Fast aerial, down bounce, half flips, air dribbling, bounce dribbling, upside down aerialing, tornado drifting, wave dashing, wall dashing, hell jump, flicking, musty flick, jazer flick, Magnus flick, redirects, cherry picking, double touches, positional rotation, shadowing, opponent prediction, boost stealing, boost economy, demoing, bumping, faking, turtling, flip resets, double resets, triple resets, whatever this is. Fedelix jump. Flip canceling, pre-flipping, fast kickoff, 50-50s, ground pinch, ceiling pinch, cook's ear pinch, psychoing, ceiling shots, and ceiling shuffle. <sighs> Alright. Where I and countless others have been caught in Rocket League's gravitational pull is how the simplicity plays out. Instead of forcing depth onto the player, it's a process of inviting discovery. A living set of tools that flourishes with your ability to think outside of the box, inside of a box of infinite possibilities. Nearly every scalar mechanic that was just shown was dreamt up or invented by someone in the community. From shadowing and faking, to flicks and pinches, to redirects and air dribbling, Rocket League has evolved with its player base. Something that highlights this perfectly is how flip resets came to be. Rocket League released July of 2015 and was still getting its wheels. Nearly every mechanic shown earlier did not yet exist. Most players, including myself, were still training the basics, including one called aerials. Aerials are the quintessential mechanic of the game, the rocket in Rocket League. It looks deceptively easy, but takes many hours of practice to consistently hit the ball, much less place the ball where you want it. But this single aspect changes everything at a fundamental level. Why wait for the ball to reach the ground when you can fly up to meet it? You can now reach nearly every area on the field from any other point. Attack the ball from infinite directions. No longer are you bound to just your wheels. The field is your oyster and flying is the pearl. Which brings us to flip resets. In 2016, players were getting more adventurous. Through skill and often pure happenstance, mechanics were found and they spread like wildfire. One of the first flip resets ever recorded was by a player named Faisho Kid. See that? That. Right there. That was it. Whenever leaving the ground, there is a window of approximately 1.5 seconds in which you can jump again. After that, it's taken away. The only way to get your double jump back is by having all four wheels touch a surface. The ground, ceiling, and walls were old news. Faisho Kid and others had found that if you hit all four wheels on the ball, they could flip again thus creating the flip reset. But simply knowing how to do it is less than half the battle. From personal experience, I've practiced this technique for years and rarely can I pull it off. And yet, there's people that can do this. Justify this with numbers, it would take a really long time. 
But no see if you can explain more. why this makes sense in just one sentence. Okay. Next up, I'll be relating the idea of linear transformations covered so Wait. far to one of the areas where okay. linear... Wait, I'm in the I middle of a world record, Posse. Shut up! See you then. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Right, wait, Let's go! I don't know why I'm freaking out so much about this one. I've just been practicing like three hours a day every day. Rocket League started as a simple party game, of which it still is, but has evolved with its player base into one of limitless depth. Its complexity is rooted in its simplicity. However deep down the rabbit hole you want to go is up to you. So I have 2,500 hours in a game that, from the outside, just looks like child's car soccer. Which it is. It's also fun. Practicing techniques and translating them into a real game scenario is such a gratifying experience. In a game of infinite possibilities, more tools in your bag translates to options for any one situation. It's a masterful idea, beautifully executed, that has grown with its community into something truly special. Now, if only they'd release more than just cosmetics. every clip just now. Oh, I should have gone a little wider. This one? I don't use this. Don't use this. Don't use that. Do not use that.